problem we're trying to solve is that water can contain heavy metals. And these heavy metals are currently not removed by ceramic water filters. So we're investigating how we can enhance these filters by introducing selective layers into the ceramic matrix. What we want to do is if we can add functionality to different layers of the filter in order to make it more effective specifically for heavy metal removal. What is special about the ceramic water filter is that it's a local product. So it is produced with clay and a burnout material that can be locally sourced. And the production facility is also local, which is important because supply chains are challenging in Africa. Now, the effect of our research in Ghana is that in the local factory, they are now innovating in their ceramic filters. So aside from the regular production line, they're investing in changing the filter in order to remove the heavy metals from the water. I'm working together with Lydia Sinanu, a PhD candidate at the local university. She has years of experience in working and producing ceramic filters. So for us, it's incredibly interesting to work with someone like her. Today we are at Pure Water Factory in Tamale, where we make ceramic water filters uh, for communities to treat their drinking water sources. So I'm looking at the use of ceramic water filters with the use of local agricultural waste to remove arsenic and mercury as a result of the illegal mining activities and also removing the pathogens uh, due to the fecal contamination of the water bodies. A lot of Ghanaian communities, which are in the urban areas, use bottled water and sachet water, which cost a lot of money and also pollutes the environment. So the ceramic water filter acts as a source of cleaning the environment and also saving them money. I have worked with uh, ceramic water filters for the past four years, so I have gained um, quite a, an amount of knowledge on the production and the use of ceramic water filters. And this uh, factory where I work is going to be the place where I'll be making my filters for testing in the Delft laboratory. The next step in our project is that Lydia will take these filters from Ghana to Delft to test the efficiency against heavy metal removal. And she will also dive deeper into the composition of the ceramic matrix to understand how this removal is exactly occurring. I think it's incredibly valuable and fun to share our knowledge here in TU Delft with partners around the world. And I think if we do so, we also get a lot back because actually there's a lot to learn from people that work more in the field.